Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to solve and graph this linear any, uh, inequality, or absolute value uh, inequality. So what I have is negative 4 plus absolute value of 7 minus 2k is less than negative 19. So what I want to do to do a problem like this is I first have to isolate the absolute value. Then I'll show you how to set up kind of two, uh, two scenarios. Now the main important thing I always want to make sure we go through is when dealing with absolute values, we need to make sure that we set up two different situations because if I take the absolute value of negative 3, we know that value is 3. The absolute value of positive 3 is also 3. So therefore, we have two different situations that we could be dealing with, or two different values that we could be dealing with. So we need to make sure we set up, set up two different solutions. And I'll get to that in just a second. The first thing we need to do is isolate the absolute value. So I add 4 to both sides. And therefore, I'm left with absolute value of 7 minus 2k is less than a negative 15. Now, here's what we need to look at. Usually what we do is we set up our two solutions, right? Which we look at 7 minus 2k is less than negative 15, and 7 minus 2k is greater than a positive 15. But here's our problem. Because if I take the absolute value of any number, right? Of any number. It doesn't matter positive, negative, how big, how small. Are we ever going to get the positive value, or will our absolute value ever be negative? And you might say, well, no, but why is that? Remember, absolute value, talk about absolute value is the absolute distance from zero. So even if you go in the positive direction or in the negative direction, you still are always going to be a distance away from zero. So when we deal with absolute value, no matter what the number is, positive or negative, you're always going to be a distance away from zero. And so it's impossible for us to take the absolute value of a number, no matter what it is, and get a negative value because you can't have negative distance. You can have negative direction, but you can't have negative distance. Therefore, this problem is impossible for us to find a value that when taking the absolute value, we'll get a negative number. So without even having to go through this case study, we already know that this problem has no solution. So anytime you, have, you isolate your absolute value, whenever you have a negative number, you now know there's no solution. Thanks.